Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller Forecast for Cancer for July 2014. So if Cancer is your sun sign or Cancer is your rising sign, then this is for you. Definitely check out my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com, or click on the link below this video, which will take you right there. And you can see more about my personal sessions. And definitely, if you have not done so already, sign up for my free email newsletter. As soon as you're done listening to this, go to my website and sign up for my free email newsletter because not only will you receive a free gift, but also I am going to be a keynote speaker in a multi-speaker telesummit where over 40 of um, the most excited helpers for manifesting your reality will speak to you and give you free tips on um, creating everything that you've ever wanted, free tips and resources and uh, tools. So you will be able to get the registration link by being on my email list. So when you sign up for that, then just stay tuned, and I will send out um, the registration links periodically so that you can take part in this free amazing event. And the timing is perfect because July is so exciting, and um, so I'm going to start talking about all the other things that are exciting besides this tele-summit in July for cancer. So first of all, many of you, it's your birthday, so happy birthday. If you have not listened to my horoscopes before, um, or occasionally, I will forget to mention this um, birthday thing, but your birthday is one of the most receptive times the universe has to bringing your wishes to you. Birthday wishes are astrologically based. You get 10 birthday wishes, and when you say them out loud, write them down, say them out loud, and feel them as if they're coming true, that combined with the transit itself, you become a force to be reckoned with. So if you have been having things in your life that you've wanted, if you have been trying to work on creating them and they have been stubbornly staying in place, then definitely sign up for that telesummit where you can have more resources than you know what to do with for manifesting. And one of those things is to do your birthday wishes with great devotion, with great clear focus about what you want, and using your senses um, in your focus as much as possible. So feel them coming true. See what it looks like. Smell what it smells like when your wish comes true get your senses involved. Okay, so happy birthday to your birthday wishes, and yay, got that. There's so many more exciting things, too. So July 1st, Mercury will go direct. I think that's exciting in general, but it's especially exciting because it ends this 10-month period of time where we've had one of the personal planets, Mercury, uh, Venus, or Mars, in retrograde in succession. So starting with last October, October 2013, we had Mercury retrograde, then Venus retrograde, then Mars retrograde, or Mercury, Venus, then Mercury, then Mars, now Mercury again. So as of July 1st, the, um, this last cycle, Mercury is going direct. Now the energies are very much haywire in those first several days after the planet goes direct. But after around the 4th of July, Every day that we march towards July 15th, when Mercury's transit is completely clear, you will feel more certainty about the things that have been pending. So the Cardinal Grand Cross and the eclipses have brought many changes for people, but has been combined with these retrograde planets, so these changes are happening. So there's things being activated, but a lot of details still yet to be filled in because of the retrograde planets. Now, starting in the middle of July, and as we get closer to the middle of July, the details as to how the, the rest of these changes are going to come to fruition will be brought to you. So July 15th through September 14th is your first and very exciting and potent big open window for buying cars, buying electronics, buying expensive things that you've been waiting, um, scheduling things, making um, important appointments, launching, bringing things out to the world that you have been working on for all of this time. This is your launch phase. This is your all systems go period of time. Any one of these things that I'm excited about on their own is exciting. But all of them together, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> okay. So all of that is going on, and that's very exciting. Now, something else that is so exciting is that Jupiter is moving into Leo. So the same date, July, or around the same date, July 16th, Jupiter officially moves into Leo. Now, 
you might have been feeling the energies of this several months before it's actually happening because that's common with transits that the energies are kind of in two places at once when it's cussy like that. So Jupiter has been in Cancer in your sign expanding your identity and yourself and the way you see yourself and improving self-esteem and you know letting you see that you can do things that you thought maybe you couldn't do all of this year that's been happening. Now Jupiter is going to move into your second house of your value system, of your finance, material possessions, of money. Jupiter's the great expander. When Jupiter the great expander goes into the house of money, usually your money is expanded. It's very unusual for someone to go through this transit and not have their finances improved by the end of it. Now, a couple of things to know about this. One thing is that Jupiter can expand your income, but it can also expand your spending. So, if af after this year transit, when you look back, you will see that you had more income very likely than you had before. But if you also increase your income as much as, I mean, you're spending as much as you increase your income, you might not have that much to show for it by a year from now. So a word to the wise hopefully is sufficient that um, it's good to splurge some, it's good to feel abundant and to buy things that make you feel um, that you can create the things that you want to create. But definitely be aware of overindulging because Jupiter's other side means that you can or, or lends itself to overdoing. Okay, so try to find some kind of balance as to what that looks like and not get wrapped up into too much consumerism or addiction with shopping. Um, so something else to know is that all cancers will be experiencing these expansion potentials for the next, between July ish of this year, 2014, and July-ish of next year, 2015. But depending on what degree your um, sun or rising or whatever, if you also if you have any Leo planets in your chart, then this is going to affect those. But if you have an early degree Cancer sun or rising or moon or whatever planet you have there, this time in the summer and moving into the fall, the time leading up to now, the summer and into the fall, is going to be your most supercharged time. For middle degree cancers, the end of the year, you know, fall into spring of next year, like around winter, depending on the exact degree is when, you know, this energy will be really expanded for you. Late degree cancer placements will have more of this expansion potential towards next summer, like next spring into next summer, 2015. So that's just something to know that let's say you're a later degree person and you're kind of feeling the vibe but things aren't really showing up, don't be concerned because you definitely have your stronger potentials when Jupiter makes exact conjunctions to whatever, you know, or makes, not exact conjunctions, but it makes um, its presence known in that house stronger. So it's hard to explain without having a visual. But just know that the later degree cancers placements are going to experience this expansion later and it will go on for longer. That's the other key about it. So your expansion time for late degree cancers will just start really getting warmed up next year, next summer. So if you have questions about that or how you, you can apply this. It's, a lot of times it's very difficult without having the visual, knowing what the wheel looks like to see where the planets are going when and how that's affecting things. And also without seeing your natal chart, it's very difficult for me to see what caveats might come to that. Like as I was saying, if you have, if you're a Cancer that has a bunch of Leo planets, then Jupiter's going to be making conjunctions to those Leo planets as well as expanding this second house um, for you. So I can't see that without seeing your chart. So anyway, this is a super exciting time. We've got the um, tele-summit that I'm a keynote speaker in, so definitely sign up for my free email newsletter. We've got your birthday wishes. Also, birthday time is a fantastic time for a reading because I can help you to have understanding and clarity and direction, and I can definitely be part of this expansion process with you. Um, I'm very much a representative of Jupiter because I have like nine placements in Sagittarius with Jupiter rules, so I'm like a Jupiter presence. <laughs> so if you want some help activating this, then that's definitely my department. Um, so I hope that you have a wonderful month.